Thank you so much to have tuned in right now. I began a journey on this platform teaching about the foundation for our salvation. And I know if you have been following closely, you know exactly right now that the Old Testament is a figure of good things to come. And the New Testament is the revelation of the mystery. That mystery is they are hidden in the Old Testament. That's why John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That Word is a person. That Word is our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible uh, stipulates that in the, uh, our forefathers in the past, they knew God in shadows. But now for us in our dispensation, we know God in reality. Reality. Jesus is the express image of God. Jesus is the one who reveals Christ, I mean God to us. You cannot know God outside Jesus. If you do not know Jesus, you do not know God. Jesus said he's the way to deal with Nobody can come to his father except by him. So even today we are going to continue to discover more about this mystery. Remember that Christ is the mystery which was kept secret before the world began. And many people try to identify with a lot of stuff, with a lot of property, a lot of honor, even education. No kusoma. But according to God, we should find our true identity in Jesus Christ. Once you find your trust in God, then you are more than a conqueror. Through Christ who loved us. Now I want us to begin by reading Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis. That's the first book in the Bible. And there's a revelation also with this book called the Revelation. I'm in Genesis. The Genesis. Exactly. Amen. You know, because we are used to our language, our tongue is used with the revelation. Most of the time we we speak revelation, but we are talking about Genesis this time. Uh the words of God says in Genesis chapter one, verse twenty. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and, every, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Katonda, na yo geranti, tokolo muntu mungeri ya fe, mochifana nyicha fe, bafugenge biomu nyanja, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Verse 28 says, Then God blessed them. I love this. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Katonda naba wo mukisa chino nchaga na nyu. Katonda naba wo mukisa wane wasinga darukube chinyusi. Katonda 
naba mu mukisa katonda naba gamba ati mweyongerenga mwalenga mu juzensi mujirie mufugenge byo munyanja nebibuka waguru na buli ekiri no bulamu ekitambula kunsi now since the inception of the world okuva kuntandisi god had good thoughts towards mankind katonda ine biruze birunje lyo mwana wo muntu and actually he says the thoughts which i have Towards you are not for evil but for good. Era gambe biro zibe nina jemuri sibi obi na ibi abunungi. Now God blessed man. We do not see any curse here in this passage of scripture. Katonda ya wo mo kisomo ntu mo bigambo biyetu somi wa ntu tulabi ya wakuchikoli mo. Especially or particularly verse twenty-eight. Na darulu abi di mo mo na na. He says then God blessed them. Lugamba wano katonda na ba wo mo kisa. And God said. To them, be fruitful and multiply. So we serve a God of multiplication. We serve a God who believes in abundance. And in Him there is no darkness at all. In Him there is no curse. We don't say curse here. But if we want to dig deep to this reality. 